Hey everyone, this is Austin from the Nerf Fifi Core, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review on the Nerf Modulus Demolisher. The packaging isn't the prettiest, but this is a Modulus Demolisher. So a couple years back, Nerf released this really awesome set in the Modulus line called the Ultimate Customizer Pack, and it was just enormous. It had the Demolisher, but in a Modulus theme, as well as just a ton of attachments most of them being brand new attachments. I do believe that some of them were technically re-releases, but that's beside the point, right? It was super cool, um, really big, and like I said, there was a Modulus Demolisher in there. I thought that that was the only way you could get the Modulus Demolisher, and it was actually for at least a while, but on June 21st and June 22nd, Amazon had their Prime Day sale event, and so when I was looking, I came across a listing for a Modulus Demolisher, like the same one that's from the Ultimate Customizer Pack, except it was more like the original Demolisher. It had the original stock, two missiles, a 10 round banana magazine, and then 10 Modulus darts, which are really just elite darts. But still, I found it very, very interesting because I did not know that this even existed. Now, it was on sale for $35, which isn't great, actually. That's a little... E even for being on sale, that's a bit overpriced, but it did say that normally it's 50 bucks, which is even more overpriced, so honestly, I'll take 35. So I bought it because I found it very interesting, you know, I didn't even know that they made a Nerf Modulus Demolisher that was like just like the original Demolisher, because this is quite literally just the Demolisher, but Modulus, so I found it very interesting, um, and like I said, I didn't even know that it existed, so I picked it up because I thought it was super cool. So let's get it open. Included with the Nerf Modulus Demolisher is the blaster itself, the stock, 10 round banana magazine, 2 missiles, 10 elite darts, and the instructions. To insert the batteries, first loosen the screw and then take off the battery cover. Then insert your 4 AA batteries and then make sure you put that battery cover back on and tighten that screw. Okay, I got it all loaded up and I got the batteries inside, so let's take a look at this thing. I gotta say, right out of the box, I'm actually very impressed with it. It just looks really good, and I do want to point something out. There is actually paint on the other side, which is great. So you got that nice stripe there, and the n -Strike Elite logo is painted in, uh, which is great because, you know, Nerf hasn't been doing very good with their paint jobs lately, but this is kind of refreshing to see. Up here, we have an end strike barrel attachment point, which is great, so you can add any barrels that you want. Um, up here, we have a tactical rail. There's also another one on the side here. Now, what I actually really love about the rail on the side is that you can actually take the tri-strike missile launcher attachment, put the actual, like, missile launcher part here, and then the stock in the back, and now you have two missile launchers on one nerf blaster, which is kind of crazy, but also really cool. Down here we have the missile launcher, so you load one missile into here, and then you have this big grip here that you use to actually shoot the missile. Please keep in mind that when you're using this missile launcher, it does depend on how much force you actually use. If you very lightly just push this, it's not even going to go anywhere. As you can see, it kind of like halfway came out, but it didn't actually shoot. In order to actually shoot the missile, you need to pull this back pretty hard. So unlike maybe like a spring or flywheel powered blaster, um, which uses like stored energy. This is actually dependent on how much force you use. Up here we have a jam door, so if you ever have a jam, you can open this up and then clear out any jams. Down here we have the mag well. It's a pretty normal mag well, not really anything to like point out. And they give you a 10 round banana magazine. Now, what's really weird is that it has elite darts instead of modulus darts, because I'm pretty sure that on the picture it showed modulus darts. Um, but this is like, these are elite darts, which. I mean, modular starts are just elite darts after all, just white, but, I mean, I just find it kind of weird that even though they show the modular starts on the on Amazon, 
they still gave it normal elite darts, which is kind of weird. Back here we have the stock. Now in terms of comfort, it's not the greatest, but I don't mind it. And uh, it does hold one extra missile, which is pretty nice. And it fits pretty snug, so it's not going to like fall out or anything, which is pretty good. Here we have the grip. Now this is also pretty decent in terms of comfort. And as you can see, we have the rev trigger and the main trigger. So first we want to rev up the blaster, and then pull the main trigger. And here we have the magazine release, so like when your mag is empty and you want to uh, get a new one, you can just press this button here and slide out the magazine. And finally, there are three sling mounts on this blaster. There's two up here, and then one down by the grip here. And I guess maybe the stock, I mean the stock has these holes, which I guess you could technically use as a sling mount, but I think these don't actually, like they're not like real sling mounts. Um, but I guess if you wanted to, you could use those. And I'm pretty sure I covered everything, so let's see what this thing can do on the firing range. So overall, I really like the Nerf Modulus Demolisher. I think that it's really cool, and really my only complaint is that when you have the missile in the stock, and you actually try to rest your cheek on the stock, well, you know, that missile, it kind of blocks your vision, and it's just not very comfortable, but that's really about it. I definitely recommend getting the Nerf Modulus Demolisher. If you can get it on sale, that is, because like I said earlier, it's normally 50 bucks, at least that's what it said on the Amazon website. Although, if you can get it on sale, or if you're just willing to pay that price, then go for it, because honestly, it's really good. And with that being said, that concludes my unboxing and review on the Nerf Modulus Demolisher. Thank you for watching, and see you guys later.